many of you resent having to take psychology as part of your mad science degree, but if you understand how people think, you can make them do whatever you want. I don't believe in boring monologues, so let's start with the first lesson, the science of reading between the lines. Isabella Fleurs de Mort, if you please. Oh, yes. Very sorry. Yes. Um, don't be. I'm, I'm very grateful that you agreed to meet with me here, and the parties that I represent also wished for me to express their sincere gratitude, as well as to the parties which you represent. Yes, my parties feel very similar to that. Um, we are very excited to be discussing this important matter with you and your parties involved. And I am very um, committed to this process as well as my parties are. And it's a great important matter to be committed to, in fact. Yes, yes, the commitment is in fact something I wish to discuss because I feel that it is such a special commitment. And also, I had been wishing to discuss the fact that there are certain elements in the situation itself that would be feeling a desire and an interest in the, perhaps the arrangement or perhaps the organic process between the discussion with the various entities involved and the parties that we are mutually representing. Yes, um, I agree. I concur. The, the consensus is very much tied up in the important matters. And um, yes, the parties have um, spoken long and very uh, specific about these matters. And um, we really need to get some information down for the parties because without that commitment that you speak of, there really is no parties to be had, quite frankly. This is quite true. The parties which I have been discussing these things that, the, which should be properly understood as the parties that I am. Well, a representative would perhaps be a poor word. However, it is can be said accurately that the things I am speaking are, to the best of my ability, representative of the views held by the parties with regard to the situation itself and the objects and, shall we say, the various amendments and the various forms of communication in the uh, process. It is, I mean, it is a process. I think we can agree on that, if nothing else. Yes, I definitely agree. And what is a process without a process? Well, the, the, the process at hand is the process, which is process. And, well, we are processing. Yes, I agree. The process at hand is 
the utmost important process by which all the other processes of these bylaws will be discussed. Throughout this, these bylaws, it discusses very, very specific yet vague, um, you know, chapter 17, article 3, paragraph 4, words 4, 5, and 6 discuss that very much so. Well, I, I actually, I, I have to admit that I wasn't empowered to discuss anything involving those numbers, many other numbers, such as six, eight, and four, I have been given very specific instructions. However, it is to be noted that the parties which I represent have been needing to discuss those numbers in more depth amongst themselves before they can imbibe me with the specific information which I would need to discuss them accurately with you. Therefore, I, if, would, would, I, would it be possible for you to make a request? <laughs> yes. I believe so. Um, there are numerous requests involving the processes, and you bring up an important matter with those numbers that you speak of, because without numbers there would be no process, and without process there would be no numbers, so therefore, how, how should we even speak about this matter without the numbers and the process and the consensus and, and the parties involved with the utmost importance of all these things that we speak of? Your uh, sagacious implications in this matter have been most deeply appreciated. I'm sure that when the parties that which I represent are informed of them, they will, in fact, be most appreciative as well, and will perhaps empower me to express that appreciation more directly. Yes, I agree. The parties involved will be very, very content that our meeting was successful in laying the groundwork for this very important matter. And without groundwork, there could be no work above the ground, as they say. I do believe we have come to a great consensus today in all of the consensus matters, therefore, spoken about in the agreements and the proposals here and the uh, amendments to those agreements and proposals. Yes, yes, I think this is something we can both agree on, and I'm very grateful that we were capable of seeing eye to eye, as it were. Yes, thank you. Thank you, sir. I, I have certain matters to attend to, so I must yes, depart. Yes, me too. Very important matters. Thank you.